Hey, this is Tony Kegger, and I'm doing a review of Ring of Honor Notre Navigation from 2008. Um, this, is a, this is a High Spots 5 hour DVD from their sale, so check out the description. I'm going to like update my um, top matches from this um, spring sale, and when I'm done reviewing all the shows, I'll, you'll see you'll see like one of my favorite matches of, of the sale of the DVDs they bought. To re recap over seven DVDs they bought from High Spots, this was one of them. And uh, let me try to make this a quick review, really quick. I don't want to make this too long. Let me just skip over the first few matches really quick because they were like nothing much to say about them. Chris Hero versus Ruckus um, was a quick match. Two two and a free, two and a three fourth stars. Not a bad match, just really quick. Um, Delirious versus Kenny Omega. Interesting thing here. Um, this is Kenny Omega's um, debut in Ring of Honor. So that was pretty cool. And this is a good match. Same problem with the first match. It was just too short, but free star match. I like this one. I like this match. Um, Sarah Del Rey versus Jennifer Blake. Um, not a bad match. Good, but it was just like really short, like two minutes. I almost didn't rate this match at all. I gave it a one and three four stars. Probably shouldn't even, even rate it because it was like really it was over like two minutes. Just like a squash match, I think. But it was for what it was, it was not too bad. It was good stuff. And I was now we're starting to get some good stuff here. Uh, the fourth match was um, Go Suzaki versus Eric Stevens. And let me talk about this match really quick. Um, these were like the FIP wrestlers, and like um, FIP is like Ring of Honor's like um, NXT. I don't even know they do still do FIP, but. Um, so, so th these two guys were gonna have, like a title match at the next big FIP show, and this was like a um, non-title like uh, match to kind of like showcase their talents and like get people excited for um, the FIP, FIP match. And they did a, This is how you um, set up a, um, a match because they went the 50 minute draw, draw, and like after those 50 minutes, like the crowd won fire mitts, everybody won fire mitts, and like um, like um, Go Suzaki's um. Manager was saying like no like we're done here and then like Lance freaking stone Lance saw uh, freaking um, storm comes out and we're in Toronto Canada so the crowd goes nuts because Lance Storm is from Canada and just it's just an amazing segment um three and a half stars for the match but like four stars for the entire like segment and stuff and they never did restart the match they did restart I felt like it would have gone higher than my rating which was awesome. I did some research and found that the next FIP show, which is the main event, was actually a really good match. So it's like the best match of the night. So they did, and hopefully, like, hopefully that show got a good crowd. Because I feel like this match did an awesome job um, promoting that, that show. So that's how you promote a show. Awesome, like, awesome. Pretty good match. And, but the way they finished it, in the, it made you want to see it again. It made you want to see the rematch. And you want to see more. So really good stuff there. And then the Final Four matches were um, all like amazing. Brian Danielson versus Claudio Castanelli, a match I've seen before. And I, I gave it the same rating I gave it last time, four and quarter stars. Just awesome wrestling. Good stuff. No no complaints at all. Except maybe it was like, too short, could no longer. I think I had, like 13 minutes. Um, Naro, I'm going to mispronounce some of these Japanese names, but Naro Michi Marafuji versus Roderick Strong. Uh, four star match. I thought this was great. I might be overrating a little bit, but I don't care. I, I love this match. Good, um, stiff match, hard hitting strikes. I mean, Roderick Strong. I, I like Roger Strong a lot. I rarely see Roger Strong have a bad match. And Mar Mara Fuji's are really good too. Then we got Nigel McGinnis versus Kevin Steen. A match that Kevin Steen has said many times is like one of his favorite matches. And you can see why, because, um, first of all, it's in Toronto. This was the first ever, um, Ring of Honor show in Toronto. Probably the first ever Ring of Iron show in Canada. I know it was the first one in Toronto. So like Kevin Steen like had a huge like hometown crowd back in. And um really like this wasn't one of those like um like a spot fest. There wasn't a like, really great spot, it was just like great storytelling and um good tech and wrestling. Maybe that's why Kevin Steen's proud of this match because, you know, Nigel McGinn is, is a you know, a real tech and wrestler. I'm not saying Kevin Steen is it, but Nigel McGinnis, you know, he can wrestle really good. And Kevin Steen, like, was, um, you know, he wasn't he wasn't being carried by Nigel. I mean, he, like, 
he he worked a good match too, and you know, as well as matches where he had a great match. I think he even said that on one of the podcasts about how like you know he was so happy that he 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 was like able to keep up with Nigel had a great match with him. And so four and a quarter stars. I've seen some people go four and a half for this match. I used to four and a quarter, but I think it was like a really good match. It just um not my style it was a little bit too technical, but still. Um good storytelling and the crowd was just hot for this match. The crowd was hot the whole night. Let me try to make this quick on uh, the last match, Jimmy Jacobs and Tyler Black versus Jay Briscoe and Austin Aries. This kinda of became a six man tag because like um what's his name? Um D.R. Briscoe. Um Michael Briscoe? No. Oh my god. It's Mark Briscoe. Yeah, Mark Briscoe and came in to help um Briscoe and Aries and then Nutcore Butcher came out to help um Jacobs and, and Tyra Black and just a good hardcore match. Really good. Uh three and three four stars. Uh which I feel is a good rating for this match. But good stuff. And overall this whole show is pr really good. For five dollars it's like a steal. So check it out. And um yeah, I'll check check out my top five matches of the high spot spring cell, see if I if any of these matches made the top five, I'm not sure I'll have to like look at. And well thanks for watching. See you later.